I've got three fun Christmas crafts in today's video, and I'm so glad that you joined me. My name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. Starting off with this embroidery hoop that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm only needing one of the hoops, and of course, I'll save the other part for later. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Chopped Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen, and I'm just painting all around the hoop, both the inside and the outside. Now I'm taking a scrap piece of craft stick that I have already cut down, and I'm trying to see where to trim it and where the glue will go. And I'm trying to create kind of like a backdrop for the little decor pieces to set on that I'm going to be putting on later. These little pieces are just scrap craft stick pieces that I'm trying to make into houses and I'm wanting a neutral look. So I'm taking a white paint pen and outlining the house and then I'll also add a door and some windows. I'm using my glue gun and putting a dot of hot glue on each end to attach the craft stick backdrop ledge thing that I just made. And next I'm adding dots of glue and then putting my little craft stick wood houses onto the ledge that I created. I found these little mini bottle brush trees at Hobby Lobby for 50% off and I'm just trying to position them how I want them behind the houses. And side note, did you all notice that this year the stores didn't seem to have near as much as they did in the past? I don't know. I just thought it was odd how empty the shelves were. But anyway. After I had taken pliers to detach the base from the bottle brush tree, I realized that I totally could have just screwed it off. So, word to the wise, you can usually just screw up those bottle brush trees that you get from Hobby Lobby. I found this white pom-pom garland at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I'm shopping at Hobby Lobby a lot. Anyway, it was 50% off, and I'm just going to glue it all the way around the hoops. And I thought it looked fine with just a single strand, but I decided to go in and add a second layer of the white pom-pom garland. And I think this looks so sweet, and I just love how it turned out. I also love collaborating with my DIY friends, and today I am joining some awesome gals for a Crafted by Corey Minis Challenge. After watching my video, you can click on the link below to check out the rest of the videos as well as Corey's channel. I'm sure you're going to love them all. For DIY number two, I'm going to be using this little sign from Dollar Tree. This sign had beads on top, and I thought thought it looked so cute. Anyways, I'm going to give it two coats of the red paint. And partway through, partway through painting the first coat, I realized the sign actually came out of the frame. So I did the holders and I popped it right out. And of course, Catherine was going to try his best to get in the way and then like right in the wet paint. At this point, I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't get in the paint. So I made kind of an odd discovery. In my attempt to rush the drawing process, I used my heat gun and it bubbled up a bit. And I thought, well, oh, well, I'll just peel this paper back that I just painted. And as I did, look y'all, there's actually another sign under it. So weird. Anyway, so to cover up where I peeled off the previous sign or two signs, <laughs> I used some craft paper and Mod Podge did on. And I cut out this Be Merry decal on my Cricut, but honestly, you could use stickers, you could freehand it or trace it on. Any of those options would work and look great. Now I just have to pop the sign back into the frame, press down the little holder tabs, and I'm done. And here's how the Be Merry sign turned out. Again, I think it looks super cute, and I love how the white letters pop off of that red color. Fun fact, my friend Sarah and I have a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget, and the link to join will be in the description box below. I hope you'll join us, and I hope you'll share what crafting projects you're currently working on. The final project for today's video is a hand-painted cardinal. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen and very carefully painting this wood slice. Remember my DIY hack, y'all. You can get wood slices for less at Hobby Lobby if you shop the His and Her section when it's on sale, which is basically every other week. It's cheaper than the wood slices you find in the wood pile section. Anyways, I'm just using the rings on the slice as a guide for my paint. And I found this cardinal template online, and when I find it again, I am going to add it to my description box, or you can leave me a comment, and I'll just let you know when it's added. But with Captain's assistance, I'm just tracing out where the body, the wing, and the face and beak will go. 
and I've been really working on my painting technique and Captain is already bored with it, but I'm just carefully painting with the lines I traced. And I just want to remind you that if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that YouTube will notify you every time I share something new. I have obviously sped up this next part, but it's just me painting the parts of the cardinal. I'm using that template again to kind of get an idea where the beak is supposed to go and all that kind of stuff. I didn't just want the cardinal floating in the air, so I decided to add a branch of a tree. And again, I'm still working on my painting skills, but I think it's coming along nicely. And I'm not sure if you've heard of this before, but do you know what is the meaning of a cardinal appearing? I've heard that cardinals appear when angels or like our loved ones are near. And when you keep saying a certain type of word, like a cardinal, it's usually a heaven sent messenger of love for you. So let me know in the comments below if you've heard this before as well. Here's how it turned out. I have really been enjoying working on my painting skills and I do like how this one turned out. Thanks y'all for joining me today as we crafted. I really appreciated the company and I hope you'll join me the next time I share a video. Be sure to subscribe so I can see y'all there. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.